Hello. Uh, Hello. My name is uh, my name is Larry. I'm gonna interview uh, you for the show in uh, Don Roosje. I have some questions. Uh, your first one is: Where does the name Royal Republic come from? The name Royal Republic? I don't know, Hannes. Where does the name Royal Republic come from? From it, it sounds like sick mind. A, A sick, sick mind, twisted mind yeah. came up with that name. Uh, I don't know, we had, uh, we had this fantasy, like for the first show that we ever did, that we were going to have a, a limo drive up and a red carpet on the, all the way up to the stage and stuff. Uh, but that didn't happen, it still hasn't happened. Uh, we were totally like into this whole VIP money thing, because we didn't have any money. We still don't have any money. So. I think we, we should probably change our name. We should change our name to like, lousy, creatures of, lousy creatures of shit. <laughs> Okay, okay. And um, you have a song on the, the first album, We Are the Royal, 21st Century Gentleman, and I like the song, but what is a 21st Century Gentleman? Can you describe it? A 21st Century Gentleman is actually the opposite of a, of a real gentleman, like the old description of a gentleman, being nice, and uh, it's basically a look inside, you know, filthy a filthy sick twisted mind <laughs> yeah <laughs> because guys lie and whatever you, whatever you think the guys aren't lying about they're lying about like that's the truth so okay okay <laughs> i understand um <laughs> your second album uh, save the nation is um is called uh is out was out in 2012 um can you describe what the title is about Obviously, some kind of sick, twisted mind uh, came up with that idea. I, it's still, I think we, uh, we hear it in different ways. I hear Save the Nation as just a, I don't know, to me it was just a title and, you know, a, th a theme. It wasn't literally, like, political or anything like that. It was just, you know, when Hannes has another opinion, and I, I think Pat has another opinion, it's about, you know. Yeah, but it's like, we get this question quite a lot, and after a while you get, like, yeah, what the fuck is the song about? You know, you start thinking. And I mean, if you dig really deep, you might say it's about, you know, setting yourself free from getting away from whatever it is you don't like, you don't want to do, sucky relationship, a job you don't want to have, or whatever. But like Adam said, it started out as, you know, it's just a cool song title. And works for the album title as well. So that's it. Put your mark right by my name. No, I'm not. 
another question. Where do you get your inspiration from? Which kind of music? Uh, the hives, mostly. We listen to what the hives do, and then we try to do it, like, <laughs> kind of, you know, kind of good, too. And then we send it to Danko Jones and make sure... Yeah, we, 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 we send it to Danko, and he says, yeah, this is good enough. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like the hives. Go. <laughs> okay, that's why it's popular. Sorry? That's, that's why you are so popular. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, um, there's a show on YouTube about uh, Lowlands 2011. Maybe you know oh it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I and um, you, you um, make a lot of jokes, a lot of interaction with the people. Um, did you learn that over the years or were you already uh, a no, comedian? For, we're not, it's not supposed to be comedy, really. It happened because... First of all, I grew up being a troubadour, basically. I spent a lot of time, about since I was like 13, I started joining my dad, out playing pubs and, you know, stuff, and drunk people, and I always just learned to, to talk to people, you know, on stage, being on stage and cracking jokes and whatnot. And when we started touring on the first album, we had, we had 36 minutes of music. That's all we had, you know. That, those were all the songs. And we were supposed to play for an hour, so it was like okay, we need to fill the time. And that's why all the stuff in between came too in the first place, all the like drum solos, all the guitar fooling around, all the jamming and all the jokes and all that. Uh, so it, it just became kind of a part of, of that album when we toured on that, you know. Okay. And Lowlands in particular was one of those shows where it was just, it was inhumanly sick, twisted, warm, filthy warm that day. And we, I just had to talk like and say stuff to get some rest. I needed to rest my, because I've just, I, I sang two songs and then I felt like I was going to die. I think we all did. Yeah. And uh, you make some Chuck Norris jokes uh, in the show. Can you make one now? Uh, someone I didn't pull already. Well, my favorite is the toilet paper one, but you don't like that very oh, much, do you? Well, what others do we have? We have the Mars. Yes, we do. Uh, we have the heart attack one. Uh -huh. We have the Virgin. Uh, yes, that's a good one. Yeah. Ch Chuck Norris once went to the Virgin Islands. They are now called the Islands. <laughs> first album was a pretty big success you play a lot of shows um, but now you have your second and they say <laughs> yeah. they say uh, they say the second is more difficult how is it for you difficult I don't know I think it's simpler really maybe I don't know it w the songwriting was a lot more uh, we wanted to have more dynamic songs the first album is pretty much just <laughs> for 36 minutes and then it's over uh, and we wanted to have some more dynamics because we're a live band. We think and we plan our career as a live band. You know, we're gonna meet the people live and give them a good show. And we figured we need we need a bit more of this. You know, because you can't just play for 90 minutes doing nothing but. Um, so it kind of started around that. And for to me, Save the Nation is pretty much the record I wanted to make the first time I made a record, but we didn't know better then because we didn't tour back then. We didn't have our own, you know, the sound that we have now. Um, so, I don't know. What do you think, Hannes Boy? <laughs> uh, well, I, you know, when we started writing, I was a bit stressed out 
you know, by everyone saying that the second album is like the album, it's super hard and you need to, you know, make sure you make a kick-ass album, which is obviously true. But what I found during the writing process is that, you know, after all, all you can do is write the songs that you write and write the songs that come out and that you want to write. And then the rest is just up to... I don't know, destiny, I guess. Either people like it or not. You know, we write the songs that we like and uh, we made an album that we love and, you know, hopefully people like it. I was saying about being difficult and, and not difficult. It's like, from a writing standpoint, the most difficult songs to write are the simple ones. The simplest songs are the hardest to write because you sit there and you feel like an idiot. You're like, duh, 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 duh. You know, and it's just, this is too simple. I can't play this. I sound like a schoolboy. You know what I mean? And not in a good way. I, like in a shitty, stupid, retarded schoolboy. Uh, <laughs> and anyway, it, and it's, that's the hardest thing. And we said that a million times when we were sitting down and riffing and just like, oh, this is, no, this is not cool enough. And this is, but every song that, you know, is huge that are hits are the simplest ones. The, the, the ones that everybody can just sing on top of their head like, you know? Yeah. I remember writing Be My Baby, for example, me and Adam were writing this song, and uh, we were trying to figure out the lyrics, and we came up with this kind of cool stuff, and we were like, no, 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 way too smart. Let's keep it simple, you know? And that was really, you know, a, a challenge, like Adam said. But usually... If if you manage to write one of those super simple songs, it's it's usually the best ones. That's what I found anyway. And um, can you describe how your second album is received by the fans? Can we? Or is it too early for it? I don't know. I guess you should ask our fans about that. I mean, uh, the only part I see is uh, you know. This album took us to took us to another level. We are the Royal took us to one level, and then we got gotten up one level, you know, in different countries. But the only reaction I get is the feedback I get when we play live. You know, people singing along with the songs, and people digging it out, and people, you know, doing that. And also, I think that Save the Nation is a bit more of a grower. I think it to me and to most people I played it to, like that I trust and that I know. They always they said like, you know. I heard it the first time and it was kind of, yeah, that's, that's all right, or this song might not be, and then they listened to it again and again, and then it just got better and better. And I think it's a little bit more of a grower than We Are The Royal. We Are The Royal was more like straight in your face, cake, yeah. palm, you know. If you listen to it, you like it yeah, immediately. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Save The Nation is a bit more like l real rock songs to me, and you need to listen to it a couple of more times. But when you do that, I found, I, and it was the same for me, really. Uh, when we recorded it and when we wrote it, it was like it wasn't that immediate. Holy shit! But we just, uh, yeah, it's more rock songs this time. Okay, and then my last question: um, You have a lot of tours, a uh, lot of shows in in the tour. Um, are you coming back for a festival maybe in Holland? I hope so. I don't know. I have my iPhone upstairs. Actually, I have my iPhone right here, but I don't know if I'm allowed to say anyway. <laughs> Uh, we have, we're doing a lot of festivals this summer. The, uh, the year is basically planned out already. Everything's done, all the dates. Um, so uh, you never know. Stay tuned and uh, check out our website. Check out our Facebook. Check out our Twitter. Buy some buy merch. Get the album. Support. Send money to account number. Yeah. Rock. Rock. Thanks for the interview.